From now to the new season, I have some quick videos lined up to finish up this past season. I want to revisit the last word, help you understand it, where it's at, what happened. I'm gonna show you exactly what went down. And when they announced the nerf, I made a video on what it could mean for it. And I'm actually gonna play a clip from that video to move this one along to help you fully understand. And honestly, with what I said, I feel I was pretty spot on. We have a little before and after. I have examples. And after I show you what went down, if you want, it's there. There's about a three minute gameplay section at the end of a We Ran With Last Word post nerf. I don't have lucky pants on. And there's a couple times that video where I pause it and kind of show you what went down. But I want to start off with this. For the most part, last word, it's fine. It's actually more than fine. It could have been a lot worse. And with how they hit it, it's the best possible scenario. But there are some limitations, as there always are, and what it overall means for last word. So. They reduce the hit fire precision angle by 50%. They reduce damage and aim assist fall off distance by three meters. And once I get done here, this is a very complete nerf. It's actually really well thought out and I'll show you what I mean as I go on. But to understand, let's go back in. The term aim assist, it has two parts. The auto aim, the bullet bending, the magnetism angle. If a target falls within this cone, your projectile will aim at the target before the effects of the accuracy cone. This equally applies to MK and controller. Now reticle friction, adhesion, Friction slows down your aim when you go across a target with the cone. Adhesion can pull your aim to stay on the target if they move while you're aiming, so that's only for a controller. But where the juice is, on the clarification of precision aim assist, full aim assist cone angle is used to determine whether a shot is a crit or a body shot. They reduce the hip fire precision aim angle by 50%. So now, let's take a look at an insert of the previous video showing what that means then, and then we're going to go into now. That's why you can be off of the head, and in my editing software, you can see I am clearly off the head, but when I shoot, you see the bullet bend. You see the magnetism. That bullet bend is how far the bullet can deflect away from my center point and still hit the target within my aim assist effective distance. So when you aim, it gets slowed down, keeps you on the head, then you have aim assist, bullet bend, friction, all at full strength. So with this last word nerf that's coming, they say that they reduce the hip fire precision aim angle by 50%. And that precision aim angle dictates how far off the head you can be aimed and still have aim assist grant you a crit instead of a body shot, which again is this right here. This is at full strength right now pre-nerf. My aim assist cone is overlapping the head, even though I'm not aimed at it and I'm still getting a headshot. So even though aim assist and friction is still gonna be good, it's still gonna keep you around that head area, that precision cone is much smaller, that 50% reduction. However, if you can aim well, it should be fine because they didn't touch the aim assist as far as slowdown and friction. You're still gonna be around the head. You just have to center it better. If you can aim well, it should be okay. So the last word, a hand cannon while in hip fire, the reticle has two parts. The outer circle is the aim assist cone. On a controller, this is helping the friction. The more aim assist that you add, this circle physically gets bigger. And with friction, that's the slowdown. And as I said in the previous video and now, that friction, the stickiness, it's still there. It feels the same when using it. And the X is your accuracy. Right? As you shoot, that blooms out. So before, as shown, this outer circle, the aim assist circle was overlapping the accuracy of last word. So both cones are overlapping. It was close to the hitbox and a bullet bend happened, resulting in a headshot. Basically, that entire circle was one-to-one -one as far as getting a crit. Even when the circle's off the head, there's enough magnetism, enough aim assist to pull in the headshot. So now, it's like what I said, they reduce that 50%. So this means it's still catching, there's still friction. The feel is the same, but basically the crit error, the error angle, is pretty much overlapping where the X is. Meaning for you to get a headshot, it needs to be in this circle now instead of the previous outer one. And in-game now, the shots that were landing before that I showed you, they do not land. Where that aim assist circle is touching or right next to the hitbox, no shot. They're not landing. And if anything, a rare body shot could happen in a super rare headshot. So it means that yes, it is nerfed. But if you are aiming well, it's going to be fine. You have to be more on target. You have to be right over the hitbox for the crit. Same feel, but you need to be more accurate. And like I said, this is a complete total nerf. It was well thought out because it also got the three meter range nerf. And this is actually the most important thing because how that translates is what last word was before this nerf, range wise. The base range that it had before is now the final three shot distance. And by that, I mean before it was hitting around 20 meters or so, then the three tap distance with fall off could go to around 22 and a half, 23 meters. Last word now has a 17 and a half base range. And the three tap max distance is around 20 meters. And that's where it started before this nerf. Once you start seeing numbers below its regular damage, you know, 64, 63, while you're in fall off, 
the more on center you need to be. And in range, you can get away with a little bit, but as you get out of range, experiencing fall off, the more you need to be on point. And even when you are, there's a chance a body shot could still land. So if you're a last word main, a user, this is what you're gonna feel the most. The accuracy part, kinda. Not really if you're aiming well. You've been seeing this thing rip in the gameplay, it's still there. Last word has a certain play style. The last word snipe is still viable. I was worried it wouldn't be, but you're already baiting players into the last word range. You're already playing to the last word range moving around the map trying to get into duels. The play style is still the same. Just need to be a little bit closer. You need to be a little bit more on target. Barely outside of its range, it's still doable, but 23 and a half, 24 meters and beyond, it's worthless. If you haven't used last word or you are worried about it, it's not that bad. It still melts. It is a nerf though. You need to be a little bit more accurate. The three meters is the most noticeable. It's not destroyed. It's fine. And if you want, again, here's about a three minute we ran. I fast forward through some of it. I have on Gemini's and I was worried that the Lucky Pants accuracy would be needed with last word and they still are the best option, but not necessarily needed. Like literally my first game testing without Lucky Pants, I had this Wii Ran, so that's how I know it's gonna be okay. And as far as M and K, I've talked to a couple players. Very few don't really use Last Word with M and K. I know that Cammy does. There's a link down in the description. He made a video a while back, still tearing people apart with M and K. In this gameplay, like in the first minute or so, there's a small slowdown and it has some text to show how the nerf made a certain shot not hit a crit. It's kind of crazy. But let's talk about it. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy. like you blaze a path for the rest of us. Zone C lost. Numbers Guardian. Excellent. Zone B locked. Your enemy has a power. Advantage is yours. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them.